guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm super excited because the mystery box is back and we're gonna be doing another scrawler box mystery box challenge so every month a scrawler box is sending me their mystery box now i used to have a series on this where i purchased these boxes but i got a little busy with etsy and they kind of fell to the wayside but now i've seen as though a lot of us are a lot more quiet in our business and everyone is kind of cooped up indoors i thought now would be the perfect time to start off the scrawler box mystery challenges again so i really hope you enjoy it this is actually gifted to me from scrawler box so thank you very much scrawler box for sending this to me and i'm super super excited sounds like there's some sort of pencils in it it's basically a mystery art box so every month they'll send you a bunch of art supplies and a challenge on a card and you join in and i think it's really fun because you can kind of experiment and try out different materials that you're not normally used to i'm excited to see what's in it so let's put you up here and try and join in on this month's scrawler box challenge okay so here is this month's scrawler box i'm super super excited to unbox this. It's been a while and I've totally forgot how fun these actually are to do. They don't normally turn out right because I have a little bit of camera fear and I end up messing it up a little bit but I am super excited to see what is inside this month's box so let's get it opened. Super satisfying rip time. Oh that was a bit anticlimactic actually. Right let's have a look what's inside. Let's have a look first underneath. This is beautiful. Look at this art print. Wow. And this is by Hatch. And the first thing we've got is an A5 layout pad. So that's good. So we'll have to use this in the supplies. It feels quite smooth actually. But it looks like it is for markers by the looks of it. So it's a high quality, smooth, white bleed proof paper, ideal for presentation visuals. And let's rip this boy open and see what's inside. Okay, so it is marker pens and I love me some marker pens, so this is super exciting. This is really cool, this month's sticker is Hatch the Artist and it's kind of in the Scrawler Box logo, so that's pretty cool. And then we have the challenge here. So we have some Spectrum Noir Tri Bleed Markers. Now, a Tri Blend Markers, should I say? Now, I actually started out using Spectrum Noir pens, so this should be fun. Ooh, hang on a sec. So there's different colours, so on this side there's like a pink, a yellow and a blue and this side is like a blue turquoise, a golden brown and a pink. Oh, so this end is like a light colour and this end is a darker version. That is very cool. I'm really excited to try this. Uh, we also have a Molotov black liner 0.4 here, so a little black liner pen and then we've got our <laughs> sweetie they always throw in like a little sweetie we've got a vimped or tuba totally gonna have that for my dinner and we have a faber castell dust free eraser and a pencil this should be interesting the challenge this month is imaginarium what does the inside of your mind look like if you had to draw your imagination what sort of place would this be oh this is very interesting mine will literally just be a cute little pastel place this month we want you to explore your strange and wonderful mind and then try to create a visual representation of your own imagination this sounds so cool i am so 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 excited to try this one out. Let's open these up. I'm going to do some swatches of these first just to get a feel of the pens and the markers. These are like really long boys. Okay, so I'm going to use the first page of this pad and do like a little swatch test and stuff. Oh. <laughs> It just fell off. And I'm only gonna use what is in this box. I'm not gonna use any of my own supplies. I'm kinda glad that it's quite light. Uh, Cause I like my sketches to be quite light. And then we have this black liner. I'm hoping, see this, this seems quite thick to me for a 0.4. So it's gonna be a little tricky for my line art. And let's try this. So this is an antique pink blend. So here we've got the lighter nib. 
light. Oh wow, it's three. I didn't realize. I thought it was just two. I thought it was darker and lighter, but it's actually three different pens. It'll be interesting to see how they've divided up the ink in in this. Like, is the dark only this big and then the mid's this big and the light's this big? Like, how they divided the ink in these pens. And I wonder if they're refillable. Nice, that's a really nice colour. And then the mid. I like this colour a lot. Another thing is they're just chisel nibs. But these pens actually draw on really nice with this paper. The mid doesn't seem to be that different. Okay, so I would say that the variations between these three pens aren't as much as, say, uh, these three pens. Especially between the mid and the dark here, there doesn't seem to be that much difference. Let's have a go at blend ability and see how they blend in together. Blend in quite nicely, actually. We have some sort of gradient here. Like I say, though, the mid and darker tones don't appear to be that much difference. But they do seem to blend quite nicely. That's got a really smooth gradient to it, so not too bad. They look pretty cool. I'm excited to try out the challenge now, and I'm just going to draw loads of cute stuff. And now I pretty much imagine my brain to be marshmallows, rainbows, and clouds, but we only had these limited colour palettes, so it's going to be interesting, because normally in my brain, there would be kind of pastel colour galore, so it's going to be very, very interesting to see how I use these colours. I'm just going to go straight in with the challenge and <laughs> draw something, I think. Okay, so I think I'm finished my sketch. I've sketched it out very, very lightly. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it, uh, but it's basically like a little world with suns, marshmallow bouncing away there on one of the clouds, a marshmallow resting on one of the clouds, one that's floating up from a windy cloud. We've got some stars. And we got a little gingy in the corner here, but I don't have the right colours for gingy, so it'll be interesting to see how I'm able to colour this in and how it's going to work. Now, I sketch really, really lightly, as you can see here. I don't need to erase anything because it's super, super light, the sketches. We've also got my little sun character up here peeking out from a rainbow. We'll have to see. Let's just get into the colouring and see how we get on. So this is it so far. I think I'm gonna do the sunny as like, I don't know, I think I'm gonna use the dark color to outline sunny. And then I think I'm gonna have to try and use this black somehow. And the reason I'm talking to you now is because I feel like it's gonna ruin it. Because it's looking pretty cute so far. I kinda like it. I've been using the marker pens to outline, but I need to do like these little marshmallows. I don't know. Okay, we're back on it. This is it so far. I really feel like I'm going to ruin it in the next step because I'm going to attempt to create, to colour in the full background in the blue. Now, the issue I have with this is, this is a light colour blue. And ideally, 
the background I would kind of do a gradient effect maybe a light blue down to yellow we're probably gonna ruin it so I'm gonna have to make do with this bad boy I think I'm all done. This is the finished piece. On camera, I'm looking on the screen at the minute, it actually doesn't look too bad, but when you look closely, it's a little messy and the markers are a little chunky and yeah. <laughs> I tried to do like a gradient going up so it was brighter sunshine here and more like a dark night sky here. It looks kind of cute, it looks especially uh, it looks a lot cuter on camera, I think, than it does in real life. When I'm looking at it in real life, it looks a little bit more messy and the bleed of the markers is a little more obvious. But I think if I put this onto the computer and cleaned it up, this could actually scrub up quite well. I actually decided to clean this up on the PC and this is what it turned out like. I thought I just wanted to experiment, clean it up a little bit because I really like the compositions and everything. So I tidied it up on Photoshop because it's something different to what I've done in the past before with my artwork and I also did it as a little test print to see if it would look really cute in my Etsy store as an art print and it's now on my studio walls the little test prints that I did and I think it looks pretty cute actually the more I look at it the more I actually quite like how it turned out I think I've decided that for these scroller box challenges that I will give away um, the contents of the challenges. So I will give all these materials that I've used and I'll also throw in a print of the illustration after it's cleaned up for you guys. So if you want to enter the competition to win these art supplies that I've just used and the rest of this pad so it doesn't go to waste. Just comment below which time of day you prefer. Do you prefer the daytime or do you prefer the nighttime? Let me know in the comments below and one comment will be picked at random and I'll send you off these goodies in a little hand written letter off me and I think that's what I'll do at the end of each mystery box challenge because I think then someone else can use these fun art supplies. So that's it, I finished the scroller box challenge mystery art box challenge it turned out pretty cute but i do think that i'm going to retouch it on the computer because it's a little sloppy and a little messy i hope you enjoyed this mystery box challenge don't forget to comment below uh, whether you prefer the day or night to be in with the chance of a giveaway to win these art supplies that i've been using and the rest of the notepad uh, i hope you enjoyed this video definitely let me know if you want to see more mystery art boxes i know it's a bit of a tough time at the minute so being able to be absorbed in artwork and using the time productively it's kind of like a form of meditation for me i kind of switch off and coloring this all in was just so fun and soothing and relaxing and i thoroughly enjoyed it and i hope you enjoyed watching it too and i hope you enjoy creating art or creating something to get your mind off everything all the craziness that's going on in the world right now anyway thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and thank you so so much again to my beautiful patrons who are making it possible for me to keep going the link is in the description if you want to check my patreon out we've got exclusive content videos challenges over on my patreon so thank you so much to my beautiful patrons who helped me out and thank you guys so much for watching this video i'll see you all very very soon stay safe
be healthy, don't forget to wash your hands and not nick all the bug roll. I'll see you all very, very soon. All right then, I love you. Thanks so much for watching, goodbye.